Hey kids! I took a personal day from work today for no other reason than I wanted to spend time around the house. I was out mowing the yard when I realized that, even though we've only been here a couple of months, somewhere in that span I've begun to feel more settled. That this isn't just some place I'm staying, but I may be beginning to put down the proverbial roots in the proverbial soil, or, or something. Michael Scherer wrote about the mystic dirt of home, and, and for me that soil will always be Maryland, but I can't help feeling that right now I am where I'm supposed to be. I mean, the house is great. We love the house. It's just the right size. It's got novel and luxurious features like a basement and a garage. Don't even get me started about the decadence that is the second bathroom. It's across the street from a super cute elementary school and just down the block from a great park. There are ducks in the pond and oddly inquisitive squirrels. But where are we in a larger sense? Our house is in Berwyn, Illinois, a near west suburb of Chicago about 10 miles west of downtown. Berwyn was founded as a train town and still is today. It grew up in the second half of the 19th century on the main line from Chicago to Aurora. The line still operates, although today it's run by the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe Railroad, the BNSF. Every weekday I walk down to this station and ride the train into work. There's great architecture too, and this Art Deco building is just the tip. You know, Berwyn is known for its bungalows and there are plenty. I, I like that these two are sort of a photo negative of each other. But there are also plenty of Queen Anne's and Prairie style and mid-century this and that. Point is, there's variety, and I like that no two blocks look the same. There's also a good mix of businesses, mostly of the mom and pop variety. <laughs> you know, I guess if you're looking for a bartender school, comic shop, or some furniture restoration, this block appears to be the one for you. And there's blight, you know, like any town. I particularly meant the loss of this Arby's. Where am I supposed to get my roast beef? I don't have an answer to that, but I do know where I can go to feel a sense of purpose, and a sense of love, and a sense of belonging. You know, in my 34 years, I've been lucky enough to live in a few places that have left their imprint on my soul. Places like my hometown, or where I spent my undergrad years, or, you know, I guess where I grew up again, my professional coming of age in the Green Mountains. But none of them feel the way I feel right now, when I walk up the street, climb my stoop, open my door, and know that I am home. Kids, I'll see you soon.